I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies sing the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark so that you can know your left from your right. I am the ballad in your box, the bullet in the gun, the inner glow that let you know to call your brother son. The story that just begun, the promise of what's to come. And I'ma remain a soldier till the war is won. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Watch where you walking, nigga. Hey, hey, what you say, nigga? Watch closely. You're about to experience a nigga moment. Webster defines the nigga moment as a moment when ignorance overwhelms the mind of an otherwise logical Negro male. What did you say, bitch, nigga? Hey, squeeze it, nigga. Causing him to act in an illogical, self-destructive manner, i.e., like a nigga. Nigga moments are unpredictable. Hey, wait, man, wait. This is stupid. Hey, you right, dawg. Look, let's put the guns away and go on about our business. Freeze! But they all end up bad. If they had their own category, nigga moments would be the third leading killer of black men behind pork chops and FEMA. It's a fact. Now let's see how a nigga moment affects a white man. Prick. Watch where you walking, bitch! What did you... Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm white! <laughs> Where you going? Don't you ignore me! This is a perfectly good moment to throw your life away! A big misconception about the nigga moment is that it can be avoided by simply moving away from niggas. If only it were that easy. See, niggas always got a new trick right around the corner. <laughs> Listen up, boys. I'm about to sing the new shoe song. New shoes, new shoes. Boy, Nike makes some good shoes. Ave Maria. Nobody in my street other than this handicap box. Oh, man, what you this crazy, son of a bitch? Every nigga moment begins with the nigga. Without that key element, all you're left with is peace and quiet. Colonel H. Stinkbeaner is and always has been a cantankerous, ornery old man. He has spent his childhood disagreeing with most things, especially things involving happiness, unity, and kindness. Stink Mina got no pleasure seeing sunsets and trees, dolphins or rainbows. Man, this some more bullshit. So, he didn't particularly mind when at age 15, he lost his sight to cancer. At least I don't have to look at your glass no more. The doctors gave him three years to live, so he dedicated those three years to spreading a lifetime of misery and hatred. Nobody knows how Stink Beaner managed to live so long. He believed it was his love of hatred that kept him going. Who in the hell parked in my space? That's like calling 1-800-collect-an-ass-whooping. And no, that ain't no toll-free call, partner. You hit my car. Are you blind? Yes, I... Damn. So? Wait, you're blind? Yes, blind. You got a problem with that, nigga? You could have killed somebody. Uh, I'd be doing them a favor. Getting run over by me is as close to an honorable death as most of these people are going to get. Some days, I'm quite the humanitarian. I think I hit a wheelchair on the way over here. <laughs> oh, look what you did to Dorothy. You better have insurance. Nigga, you better have insurance. Ass whooping insurance, and you about to pay a deductible. And just like that, my granddad was trapped in a nigga moment.
At this point, he can A, walk away and let insurance handle the damage to the car, or B, fight with a dumb, crazy, blind nigga. Let's see which one he chooses. <laughs> That's right! I'm back to New York car, nyucka! What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, hell no! Granddad, let's whoop this nigga's ass right now! Bitch-ass, faggot-ass, punk-ass, pussy-ass, bitch-ass, nyucka! You wanna do something, bitch-ass, nyucka? Hold up! I smell new shoes! Oh, me! Oh! Ooh, what you made? I've said it before. Expensive sneakers are like $150 landmines. Step on one, and boom! A perfectly rational black man can explode. Yeah! yeah they ain't new anymore, are they? Nigga! And that nigga spitting on you, you better hit him, granddad! Hit him! Hit him! Yeah! Hit him! Yeah. Hit him. Oh! oh. 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 Hey. What happened? Oh. Hey. Hey. My granddad, bad knee! Oh, lordy, lordy, lord. My knee! Man. My bad knee! Oh, man! Ah. Oh. I hate this damn song. I can't believe you got your ass kicked by a blind man, granddad. My knee went out. You know I got a bad knee. Bad knee? That nigga had bad eyes. He couldn't see, granddad. He beat you like a piñata. No. <laughs> Yo, we can rig granddad out for Mexican birthday parties. We can call him Señor Piñata. <laughs> Hola, Señor Piñata. Stop it, boy. Stop it. Where's my belt? Woo! Woo! I must be blind too, cause I sure didn't see that ass whoopee coming. <laughs> Boy! <laughs> Yo, how bad you gotta telegraph your punches for a blind nigga to see him coming, Granddad? Riley, the man <laughs> obviously had a heightened sense of hearing. Oh, I thought Granddad had a heightened sense of falling. No, that's enough. Now you just stop laughing at your Granddaddy. It Yo, ain't that. What's wrong with you? Granddad had hit me written on his forehead in prayer. I said that's enough. <laughs> okay, what you gonna do? Beat me? Maybe I should get a blindfold first. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Wait. Maybe he gonna fall on me. <laughs> Riley, stop! <laughs> Granddad, Roddy King just called and said, Damn, I thought I got my ass whooped. <laughs> Ow! Ow! <sighs> That night, I dreamt of a blind swordsman. Poisonous paragraph, smash and phonograph in half. It means the inspector Jack on the wall path. First class, leaving mites with a cast. Causing ruckus like the aftermath from guns blast. Run fast, here comes the verbal assault up. Rhymes running wild like a child in a walk up. I scored from the inner slums of raw. He knows my every move, yet he cannot see. As my mind fights to make sense of the impossible, he has turned my sight into a liability. He has no just cause to want my life. There is no forethought, no logic in his actions. This isn't just any swordsman. This is the blind nigga samurai. What's good, nigga? What's really good? <gasps> A nigga moment isn't necessarily over when you think it's over. It kind of hangs around like an unpaid bill. And in a case of the blind beating the dumb, security cameras from the Woodcrest Square Mall captured a fight between That's a blind a old man and an unidentified oh, assailant following a parking dispute. Oh, man. It's just local news. CNN has now confirmed that it was this man, Robert Jebediah Freeman, who got beat up by a slightly older security...
simply blinder, gentlemen. Police aren't pressing charges against Mr. Freeman. They say that ass whooping was punishment enough. We at CNN agree. Granddad, I don't think you should watch this anymore. El residente de Woodcrest, Robert Freeman, tiene un nuevo apodo. Señor Piñata. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Patty. <laughs> Granddad, you gotta ask yourself, would you really be better off if you had beaten up a blind old man in the street? It was a nigger moment, Granddad. You gotta let it go. Maybe you're right. You have reached the Freeman residence. If this is a lovely cutie pie, please leave a message. Everybody else suggests hang up right now because I'm not interested. Come on, Robert, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. I know you there in hiding. I seen you on the news getting your black ass whooped by that blind old monkey. That's why they shouldn't let niggas go shopping. Call me back. Don't you walk away from this answer machine. Granddad, just let it die. I promise you nobody's gonna call you a punk. I will. Well, Riley will. Granddad! Granddad went back to fight that man. Yeah! Check this out, Huey! Alright, alright. Wait, wait, wait. What? 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 Here it goes. Here it goes. Oh! Hey, you ever notice whenever someone throws a chair? A ball jumps off? Aren't you worried about Granddad? Look, you want to see it again? Hey, look, look, you look, look, see? I said you don't even have to hit nobody with a chair. And niggas will still start wilding out. Well, you don't look hurt. Two weeks. Good for you! A rematch in two weeks. This will be great. Hey, we might be able to make some money off this. The slug fast in Woodcrest. Yeah. You don't understand, boy. I have to do this. Follow me. I want you to see what you're up against. The way he dodged your punch, your enemy is the Sadoichi, the blind swordsman. His ears give him more information than all your senses put together. If you underestimate him, he will kill you. You must train. I won't fail you. I'm not afraid. Oh, you will be. You will be. Granddad, shouldn't be too worried. Everybody knows niggas can't fight. I'm sorry? You hate me, nigga. Niggas can't fight. 
They don't possess the strength for character or the mental quickness to be a great fighter. That's why all the best fighters in the world have always been white men. Jack Dempsey, Rocky Marciano, Sylvester Stallone, and don't forget Ralph Macchio. You name me one great black heavyweight fighter. Name one. Go ahead, try name one. See that you can't do it. What, 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 what? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you want to pull Ali out your ass? That what you think about Muhammad Ali? Well, if that nigga so tough, then why he didn't go to Vietnam? I'll tell you why. Because he was scared. That's why. Shoot. No Vietnamese ever called me nigga. I called him a nigga eight times before I had breakfast. Now, what he going to do? Hold on. I'll make it nine. Nigga. I don't understand why I'm blindfolded. Because the enemy cannot see. But see, the thing is, I don't have super hearing, so I don't get why I'm... Fight! Ah! Ow! Stop! John claude Van Damme's the best martial artist in the world. He killed a man with his butt cheek power. Steven Seagal, David Carradine, Chuck Norris, shoot! Walker, Texas Ranger? Now that's a karate man right there. Word got out that my granddad was training for a rematch, and it quickly became the talk of the town. What was that? An exhibition? You need emotional content. Now, try again. That hurts! Damn it, boy! Who? Ah. Ooh! Everybody knows niggas climb trees, not kick them. <laughs> Riley had the brilliant idea to take advance orders for the DVD release of the fight and take a little action on the side. He hired a street team to create the necessary hype. The fight had a huge turnout. Seems like watching niggas act stupid is becoming America's favorite pastime. Hey, listen up! I'm gonna tell y'all one more time. This fight ain't starting till I get ten dollars from all y'all. Hey, you? No, nigga, I didn't get yours yet. Give me that. That's the difference between private nigga moments and public nigga moments. A private nigga moment shames you. Public nigga moment shames a whole race. Oh, this is it. I'm gonna kick some ass now. Granddad, the only way to win is not to fight. That's right, Robert. Nobody's gonna call you a fruity boy or a pansy pants if you don't do this. I will. Right. Well, Riley will. I mean, everybody's just talking so far. Go, go, go. You scared? Yeah, you scared, ain't you, bitch, nigga? I can smell the bitch in you. <laughs> Ooh, that vintage bitch. You must have Alzheimer's, old man. You already forgot that ass whooping? Uh oh. <laughs> I hear you coming. And as I watched Stink Man move blindly around the ring, I had a terrifying realization. He wasn't a trained swordsman, and he didn't have super hearing. He was a blind old man who had just gotten lucky. Granddad! Wait! No! Stop! Yeah, I will... oh. Come on, Granddad! You know, we could all be reading a book right now.
Oh, yeah, oh, you got third, man. Come on now. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. I, I, I can't. Dang, Granddad, you don't have to kill him. And so, Granddad emerged from the nigger moment victorious. Congratulations, Robert. I told you a nigga that black couldn't fight. Woo! Good God. Hey, that wasn't even worth it, man. I had my fingers crossed. You owe me money, man. Give me my money back. I want my money now. Give me my damn money. Oh, my God. Played is spending the remainder of his natural life in prison, Granddad never stopped to realize that he had gotten the respect he so desperately wanted. Yo, that mug killed a blind old man with his bare hands. Now that's gangsta. Robert Jebediah Freeman. Tom and I had gotten the fight license by the State Boxing Commission at the last minute, legally indemnifying Granddad against Stink Meaner's death. But he was still pretty shook up by the whole thing. Colonel Stinkmeaner had no family and no friends. He lived a life without love or companionship or even pets. He was a horrible, awful human being. And in truth, the world was better off with him dead. Still, he Lord, was our brother. Please forgive us for taking this man's life. Why you say us? You killed him? Shut your ass and pray, boy. <laughs> 